This game is called Blackout. In this game, you will practice breaking numbers apart into sums of ones, fives, and tens. Win by being the first player to black out your game board. While playing this game, you will use your knowledge of place value and decomposition of numbers. First, you will need to set up the game board in pieces. Cut out the 10 frame cards, which are numbered 1 through 30. The cards are placed face down in the middle of the playing surface. Each player chooses a game board and a handful of markers. The oldest player goes first. On your turn, draw a card from the pile. Say the number aloud. This is your blackout number. Break apart the number into tens, fives, or ones. For example, I draw 27. This number can be broken into two tens, one five, and two ones. It can also be broken into one ten, three fives, and two ones. There are also other ways to decompose 27. Think about other ways to do it. There are multiple ways to break apart your number. Choose only one way. Use markers to cover the different parts of your blackout number on your game board. So, if I use the first way I decompose 27, I would cover two tens, one five, and two ones. As long as you can cover one number on the game board, you can play. Place your card face up in the discard pile. Your turn is over. Play moves to the left. If you run out of cards, shuffle the cards in the discard pile and keep playing. The first person to black out their game board or cover up all the numbers on their game board wins the game. There are also variations to this game. One variation includes keeping track of the leftover ones. Once the ones on your game board are all covered, keep track of the ones you cannot play by making a pile of the markers next to your game board. Once you have five ones, exchange them for a five and play a marker on a five. You can also wait until you have 10 leftover ones and play a marker on a 10 for your turn. Also, a part of this variation, you can combine your blackout numbers with the leftover ones to cover a larger number on your game board. For example, if I draw an 8 and all the ones are covered, I can decide to cover a 10 using two of my leftover ones. While playing the game, you can ask, what are other ways your blackout number can be broken apart? Does the number of ways change depending on which numbers you still need to cover? After playing the game, you can ask, if you have a lot of tens left on your board, which numbers would you want to draw to cover as many tens as possible? What numbers would not help you cover tens on your board? What strategies did you develop as you played?